Well going massive, I am F Zeba. Welcome or welcome back to the channel guys. It's a long time when I sit down and do a video like this with you guys or for you guys. And that's basically guys because I have been so busy. Can I say busy? I know all the way busy you know, but guys I'm telling you these last few days has have been very hectic and so you know what today I just say I'm taking the time off and I'm going to be just taking care of my hair I haven't been able to take care of my hair in quite a while so I don't even know if I'm going to get to that goal that I intended to get to but anyway we trust God and you know I'm just gonna put this into scripture here for us to reflect on you know and of course remember before you touch your hair we pray over the hair right because our faith and trust is in God so guys we have a nice little recipe for you today very nice like a recipe super simple i actually did the video already but um something went wrong and i wasn't able to really post that video so i'm just redoing the video today again i'm just showing you how i make this simple recipe for moisture for protein for deep conditioning and as i said guys it's so simple 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 and this is of, of course with all natural herbs so before i get into this video i just wanted to give you guys a tour of my scalp or and it, and it's an inspection of my scalp to you know keep you up to date with what's going on um so this is what my scalp is looking like as of june 29 guys you can see that there's a lot of growth a lot of filling in of my bald areas right so that's basically it so those of you who have been with me throughout my hair regrowth journey since i started the channel i you know that i always use a green juice guys this time i have it in a little bag and this is just because i have spoiled so many bottles because i need to get my green juice in my hair so this green juice is basically leaf of life it just has leaf of life nothing else and i blended the leaf of life with a little bit of alkaline water and i put it in this i'm just going to be spraying it on the hair using this little bag all right we have here so now some flaxseed and i basically just boil it some flaxseed gel so this is the thickness of it so we're going to use this the flaxseed and we're using the seeds as well because guys the seeds having a lot of nutrients the seed having omega fatty acids and some other potent ingredients and it has oils in it so we're going to be using the flax seeds next we have a whole set of ingredients we have cloves fenugreek seeds and some rosemary leaves and this we are going to be adding to the mixture as well so what i did i did not get enough time to soak them overnight but i usually do that and next we have some moringa leaves and of course king of the forest now with the king of the forest and the moringa leaves i just leave them in a little bit of water to soak just to remove any kind of debris and any kind of small unseen insects i just leave them in the water to soak for a little time all right so we're going to pour in first and foremost the flax seeds and the flax seed gel not straining anything guys remember we want everything out of this and then next we're going to add our fenugreek seeds i'm trying not to use the water from the fenugreek seeds because i want this to be a very thick mixture so remember this is fenugreek clove and rosemary and guys i just put the leaves to soak in some water soak up any little debris or so on that may be on this and so we're going to be adding now the leaves to the mixture So this is what the mixture is looking like at this time and now we're going to go ahead and strain it. Alright so guys we're getting everything out of this, just trying to get out everything as much as possible i don't know if i might have to add some water yet but we're gonna strain and see because i really want a thick mixture so 
look at that lovely green color guys this is what i'm going to be adding to my hair chlorophyll omega fatty acids protein vitamin e iron all of this is going to get onto my scalp and guys that's the thing when again you're suffering from hair loss it's best to do organic and natural stuff on the scalp our body absorbs and so it's going to absorb our scalp is going to absorb all of this nutrient so you're getting them internally and you're getting them externally as well sometimes persons ask me why i'm putting these things on the scalp and guys that's just the reason i want to ensure that whatever is i'm putting in inside is also going on the outside as well it makes the healing process a whole lot easier and faster so this is what we're getting onto the scalp today guys a whole lot of nourishment i'm just hoping that all of this or this little will be enough for my head because i really don't want to go back to blending anymore so i'm going to try to squeeze out as much as possible this is a recipe family that i've used over and over and this leaves your hair moisturized it leaves it soft guys you're just gonna love this now i wish i could stop here but i am going to have to change this beautiful green color by adding some potassium magnesium iron and copper to this mixture guys we're gonna get that onto the scalp and onto the strands and we're gonna be using some molasses to do that guys molasses is one of those ingredients that you want in your hair both in your body and in your hair because it slows down the aging process it has those nutrients that slow down the aging process all right so we're gonna mix the molasses in gonna ensure that it is well incorporated into the mixture and so this is a very easy recipe and next we're going to be adding this oil this is batana oil this is one of the oils that dr sebi talks about and this is the first time i'm really going to try it so we're going to see how it works under normal circumstances i would use my own hair growth oil but i've heard so much about this oil and i say you know let me try it so i'm just using a few drops not too much and we're going to mix that in as well so some real cooking going on on our scalp today but it's well worth it all right so i'm going to stop at this point in terms of mixing and then we're going to apply this to the scalp before we add the mixture we're gonna now add our green juice leaf of life all right just massage this into the scalp strands as well so what we're doing is basically to get the sharp and the follicles open so that it can so that the mixture can easily penetrate right so my hair is well saturated all right so we're gonna start by applying the mixture to the scalp if you have an, applic an applicator bottle go ahead and use your applicator bottle but I'm gonna start by applying and massaging the mixture throughout my scalp and this feels so soothing and slippery guys so we're getting it onto the scalp first thing ensuring that the scalp is guys may I tell you the truth you see when we do that something here me just feel an energy around through my scalp like me just feel like my ear everything just full up already it feels so good So we're getting it onto the edges as well and then now we're going to use the bit that's left to apply to the hair and when we're finished with this we're going to cover for 30 minutes i usually keep mine on for longer but um yeah 30 minutes is ideal to get everything seeped into the scalp but yeah guys i'm gonna leave this on for much longer because i'm going to be doing a lot a lot of stuff in between that time 
So let's massage it into the scalp, guys. And then you cover it over with your plastic cap or your plastic bag when you're finished. And of course, you rinse it off and go ahead with your regular shampoo and conditioner. So that's it, guys. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.